Hey, hey Pueblo Academy of Arts. Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mia. And this is your news for the week of December 5th. It's snow time. It's going to be cold. Yeah, I can't wait to make snow angels. Let's go to Alyssa and Lily with two of our Priya. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and I'm here with Miss Vanessa. So, Miss Vanessa, how long have you been a Phoenix? I have been a Phoenix for eight years now. Wow, that's awesome. Um, how do you rise as a Phoenix? By showing up every day, doing the best I can do with my job, and showing up for the students and being there for them. I love that. Um, what does your job entail? A little bit of everything. We're kind of everywhere, as you can tell. I'm in a lot of um, eighth grade classes, and I help all my students, including some that are not mine, um, take students for walks and little breaks here and there, and then help them with their work. That's awesome. I love that. Now back to you. Hi, I'm Liliana. I'm here with Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca, what do you do here at PAA? I am a paraprofessional and I assist teachers and students in the classroom. How do you rise at PAA? I rise by coming to work every day, setting a good example for my students, and keeping a positive attitude. Uh, Miss Rebecca, what do you do in your spare time? I enjoy arts and crafts, jewelry making, and I love to draw. That's one of my favorite things. A lot of the kids here know that. And my latest um, picture I did today, actually, is um, we're, we're reading A Christmas Carol in our uh, class, and I drew the ghost of Marley. So that was my latest work. <laughs> That's nice. Now back to you. Good morning, Phoenix. This is Mr. Farias with a special announcement. We are beginning our middle-of-year benchmark assessments in NWA in both English and mathematics. The assessments begin this week, but I want to let you know that I uh, am going to be running an incentive for the math and English class that has the highest number of students who are um, meeting their benchmark assessment targets. So please do your very best. I'm keeping the incentive a surprise, but this is going to be one um, math and English class in both grade, I'm sorry, in all grade levels uh, will be eligible to receive this prize. So please do your very best. Um, this is your opportunity to show off what you know. Uh, this also helps your teachers know where we need to be focusing our instruction. And we are beginning to look at benchmark assessments um, to see who may be earning their way out of some potential double block courses. With that being said, please do your very best as we get into the week's worth of testing um, and make sure that you show up the next couple of weeks because we have a lot of fun things planned for you. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Hi, Phoenix. I'm Janessa. And I'm Layla. And, and this, this is, is the Rise of the Phoenix. Phoenix. NAL matches today. Good luck, Phoenix. Science Diversity Club is Wednesday, <laughs> and so is the Winter Drama Production. Quarter two windows open on Thursday. PAA Spelling Bee is this Thursday. Good luck. NAL practice is Thursday after school. Now let's go see the Weekly Phoenix. Hi, I'm here with Anela and... Anela, what's your favorite subject? Writing. Um, how have you been liking PA so far? Good. Um, uh, how do you rise? By getting all my grades up. Mm, back to you. Hi, I'm Real Almaraz, and I'm here with Ethan Lamas. Ethan, how do you rise as a Phoenix at PA? I do my work on time, and then I don't get in trouble. That's nice. Me too. How do you, or what do you do in your free time outside of school? I do my work. That's good. And finally, what is your favorite subject in school? P.E. That's nice. Um, now back to you. Thanks, guys. Keep on rising. Now let's go to Jessica and Ileana with the student council announcements. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Ileana. And, and this, this is student council announcements. announcements. The candy grams continue this week. Get them while they're still on sale. The dance is coming up soon on December 14th. Student Council is setting up for Town Hall December 15th. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. This is the rise. See you next time. Now back to me and Araya. Let's go see what sports got going on. Thanks, guys. I'm Isabella. And I'm Bella. And, and this, this is Phoenix Vision, Vision Sports. sports. Uh, uh, how is school going for you? It's going good. How about you? It's all right so far. That's good. Boys basketball won against Cole at 49-31. Good job. 
boys basketball played versus Eaton. Good job, boys. Ba- boys them. basketball played versus ECMS here at 445. Also, don't forget to get your clearing packets for wrestling and girls basketball in the main office. Make sure they're turned in by December 12th. And here's our attitude to the week. I'm Cordell, and I'm here with Lamar. Lamar, what do you do? I do cheer. That's awesome. How do you rise doing cheer? I do my work on time. That's cool. How do you rise outside of cheer? I do my homework. That's awesome. One last question. What's your favorite Christmas song? Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, that's that's pretty nice. Now back to you. Thanks, Phoenix. Keep rising. That's all for sports. Go, Go Phoenix, Phoenix. Fight hard and bring home those wins. Now let's see what's on the trail, Triana. Hello, Phoenix. Welcome back to What's on the Trail, Triana. And I will be bringing you your very delectable lunch menu for this week. Today we will be having chili cheese fries with pretzels. That sounds amazing. Tomorrow will be chicken noodles, chicken noodles with saltines. Wednesday is going to be country fried steak with a biscuit which is Miss, Mrs. Montoya's favorite. And finally on Thursday, we will be having a chicken, we will be having chicken nuggets with macaroni and cheese. All of that sounds pretty good. Anyways, make sure to thank your lunch people and as always, rise as a phoenix and now back to you. Hey Phoenix, it's Isaac the weatherman and here's the weather for this week. Today we will have a high of 62 and a low of 23. Then tomorrow on Tuesday we will have a high of 49 and a low of 22. Then on Wednesday we will have a high of 48 and a low of 20. Then on Thursday, we will have a high of 46 and a low of 20. Now for this week's weather joke. Well, yeah. There's a technical term for a sunny, warm day followed by two rainy days. It's called Monday. That, that's, all, that's all for weather. <laughs> See you next week with more. Thank you, Triana. I can't wait to eat all this food this week. Me too. Let's go to see what Alyssa and Kelly are doing this week. Hello, Phoenix. That's Claire. And that's Alyssa. And And this this is is Weekly Weekly Obsessions. This week's obsessions are the song of the week, the quote of the week, and making Christmas gingerbread houses part two. First, let's start with the song of the week, which is Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer by Elmo and Patsy. This song was released in 1979 with over 11 million views. This is Miss Brown's favorite Christmas song. The next obsession is the quote of the week. This week's quote is, Christmas is not a season, it's a feeling. By Edma Ferber. What it means to us is we should enjoy Christmas to spend time with family, not just for presents. The last obsession is gingerbread houses part two. Me and Alyssa are going to build gingerbread houses with all these items, and then we're going to have Mr. Robinson judge him which one is better at the end. Okay, let's start no, like this part, I cut it too big. Oh. How yours is tiny? It's not as a mess as it was last year. I know. Last year it was a bad mess. I'm trying not to lose a bunch of clothes. Hi. Claire, what are you asking for for Christmas? I don't know. What are you asking for for Christmas? I don't know. I wish we had like the little light bulbs like we did last year. Is that light bulb? I think so. Oh, wow, that's cool. I don't even remember that. You don't remember Do you last like year? the old studio or the new studio? I feel like we have more room in the old. Why is these so messy? Oh, we're going to have to give it back to you. They're like not sticking. Mm-hmm. There's a piece of hair on my finger. Ew. <laughs> Is it sticking because of the frosting? Yeah. Oh my god, why is it not sticking? Everybody oh used to get so mad at you last year. <laughs> this is the front one. Okay. I'm gonna put like some. Are you almost more. done? Kind of. No. Are you? No. <laughs> You're always, you always take forever. Yours always looks worse, so I'm just kidding. Come on, Claire. This is like if Christmas lights were on your house, okay? Okay. It's starting to dry. Oh my gosh, it's getting all over me. Look at how much of a mess I am making. I need to get a front on my house now. 
I know. It came out so cute. We gotta come get them after school. I can't leave them like I left my pumpkin. Why is there frosting on my chair? Oh yeah, can we get these after school? Oh my god. frosting all over my I know, my hands. Okay, are you ready? There you go. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Robinson, you got it, Jojo. Alright. Should I come over here? Yeah, come yeah. over here and then we'll Wait, show, we'll show them the, the camera. camera. Okay, here's the stem. And now let's show Mr. Robinson, ready? Uh. Well, she's got a triangle house and you got a square house. So I think you built the best square house and Lisa built the best triangle gingerbread house. You guys have any more of them gumdrops there? Over no, there's only oh, four. Well, if you had gumdrops, I would have given a clear winner, but since we don't got no more leftover gumdrops, I'm just gonna say best square house, best triangle house. How okay. about that? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Ready? Oh, wait. Okay. Thank, Thank you for watching our weekly obsessions. Now back to you. Wow, those look so good. Yeah, those look is do it then. Now with that, we're out of here. Have a fabulous, wild, and wonderful week. Natalie. Natalie, all right, Natalie. What, what does it mean to be Phoenix to you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Real Elmer with JJ. Welcome to Watch I can't believe we've been doing this for two years now. Are you done?